the problem with torquing the head bolts on these engines is that for one thing they're about 40 years old and they've probably been taken apart maybe two three times in that time and rebuilt the head bolts have been reused um, and now you can't get head bolts anymore for these I have thought about using uh, studs but I haven't got that far yet maybe I will next time um, the issue with the head bolts is um, if they're reused uh, they can stretch and since the engine is so old the specs in the manual which is I believe uh, 72 foot pounds may not work and it may not compress the uh, head gasket enough to seal it properly and so what I have found on these engines is that if you do replace the head gasket and you notice you have an overheating problem it may not be the head gasket itself it could be that you're just leaking uh, combustion gases into the coolant and so in that case I would just let it cool down overnight take the valve cover back off and retighten the head bolts uh, give them about an extra 12 to 15 pounds of torque you know maybe uh, just torque them at uh, like 85 and see what uh, the temperature reads when you restart it if the temperature drops and it's running cooler you know that you're on the right track and usually the needle on the temperature gauge normal operating range is around a quarter it's kind of like a fuel gauge the needle goes up a quarter by the way that's that's normal operating temperature so you just just keep adding more uh, torque you know another five pounds and before you know it you'll get the temperature down to normal operating temperature and you're done uh, I've never re uh, torqued head bolts by loosening the head bolts after they've already been torqued and then retightening I just keep tightening them down and you want to make sure that you do it in the proper torque sequence also